Now, let's try the Financial and Technical Assessment tool. Let's start by downloading the tool at the FSM Toolbox website. On the top menu under Toolbox Content, view all resources and view all tools. Scroll down for the Financial and Technical Assessment tool. Download the XLS extension, enable editing, and now you're ready to start. On the introduction sheet, you'll find a summary of the tool content, prerequisites to run the tool, and a list of sheets and its contents and the legend. Sheet 1. This sheet computes for the fecal sludge, FS, volume for households, commercial establishments, and institutions. Fecal sludge volume for household can be estimated from septic tank volume or FS generation rate. This depends on data availability. Fill out the information to calculate volume for commercial establishment and institutions. The output will be total fecal sludge generation in cubic meters per day with projections based on growth rate of households, commercial establishments, and institutions for 20 years. This will be used in Sheet 2 to estimate the number of vacuum trucks necessary for collection and transportation. Sheet 2. Input the vacuum truck operation characteristics, such as time estimates for your service, transportation times and efficiency, you'll see the output is adjusted loads per truck per day. Also, input the capacity of the trucks and percentage of coverage area accessible by the truck size. The output in this table is calculating the projected number of vacuum trucks per truck size required to cover the increasing fecal sludge generation over the next 20 years. Sheet 3. The Treatment Technological Assessment covers six sheets. The selection of technologies is based on criteria of site and resource availability. Select the option that best represents your service area. If you need to reconsider the criteria, click on Reset. To continue and save, click on the Next button. You've landed on the primary treatment. The options which are compatible with the criteria selected in the previous tab will have a green color band. Options with yellow bands are applicable but require corrective measures to make it feasible. The corrective constraints are named under the technology option in yellow. In addition, more crucial constraints are in red. With the given technology options, you could now make a knowledgeable comparison of the local situations and select the best fit for primary treatment. Continue and save by clicking on Next. The next step on the treatment option is dewatering. As in the previous sheet, select the best fit of technology, evaluate the constraints, performance, advantages and disadvantage, and capital as well as operation costs. Do the same for the next three sheets, pre-affluent treatment, post-affluent treatment, and sludge treatment. The last sheet of the technical assessment is the treatment flowchart or dashboard. It shows the complete treatment system diagram based on the selected technologies. It also provides the information of unit capital cost, unit operation and maintenance cost, as well as reuse options. These unit costs will reflect in sheet number five, cost and financing. Sheet number four. Our financial assessment starts with cost estimation. If you have detailed data on local cost, input your estimates in sheet four to estimate capital and operational as well as maintenance cost. If you find the tool cost estimates reasonable, move to sheet five, cost and financing at the bottom menu. Sheet five. First, select if you wish to use data from the dashboard or your own estimates. The main data input is the cost of land per square meter and cost of trucks. The output is total operation and maintenance costs for treatment plant as well as trucks. To fill the financial assumption, a brief explanation is given in the tool for your guidance. As a result, you will get amounts of equity, loans, and subsidy based on the total capital investment and the weighted average cost of capital, also known as WACC. Sheet 6 will automatically generate schedules for quarterly and annual debt service payments. No input data on this sheet. Sheet 7 is Revenue. Input the tariff to be charged. Here, you have two options for tariff collection. A. Incorporated in the water bill by cubic meter of water. Or B. Separate fee for each collection, treatment, and reuse. On the bottom table are the revenue projections over the next 20 years. Sheet 8 automatically generates the cash flow statement, income statement, and balance sheet based on 
the cost and financing assumptions from previous sheets. The cash flow statement is a profile of the project's revenue and expenditures over a period of 20 years. The income statement, or profit and loss account, is a report of the project's income, expenses, and the resulting profit or loss over the next 20-year period. And the balance sheet, or statement of financial position, provides the project assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. Sheet number nine summarizes the results of the financial viability assessment of the selected technology options, such as project cost, funding sources, configuration of the loan, and proposed tariff. Financial indicators are for concession periods of 10, 15, and 20 years. Our last sheet is the dashboard, a summary of the three key assessments. First, baseline assessment includes the projections from fecal sludge volume and number of trucks. Second, treatment technology assessment with the selected technology for primary, dewatering, pre-affluent, post-affluent, and sludge treatment. And third, the financial assessment with projections of cash flow and revenue with details of cost streams. During this video, you've learned FSM technical and financial key indicators, which need to be considered while working on FSM projects. Remember that while using this tool, it'll also require human expertise on FSM, along with intricate relations with stakeholders and consideration of other subjective matters.